According to Urban and Rural Development Deputy Executive Director for Subnational Government and Traditional Authorities Affairs, Lamek Uyepa, the aim of the exercise was to examine skills and efficiency of how councils work together with stakeholders to respond to emergencies. The exercise involved local authorities of Ochiwarongo, Krutfontein, Otavi, Okakarara, Tumep, along with Motor Vehicle Accident Fund, Ministries of Health, Safety and Security, and Namibian Police. The stimulation exercise is meant to ensure that the capacity of our local authorities is always there to deal with emerging situations like the one we are uh, stimulating here. It's important that local authorities have the resources, they have the technical know-how and capacity to deal with emerging situations. Uh, this particular exercise is one or the first of a series of exercises that the ministry will conduct throughout the country. The ministry's emergency control administration officer, Federica Shiweather, said the exercise is to ensure the implementation of the Fire Brigade Service Act and Disaster Risk Management Act for capacity development, resources and mobilization. In fact, we are also coordinating with the Office of the Prime Minister uh, in the implementation of the Disaster Risk Management Act number 10 of 2012. Ochiwarongo Mayor Kandiwapa Shivute, who is also the chairperson of the Ochiwarongo Risk Management Committee, had this to say. The response was very positive from all Ochiwarongo players, uh, um, and everyone is on the scene. Then we are about to see how many people are on the scene, how many kids have died, and how many are in better uh, conditions. We'll see after that. At this moment, I cannot give out much. The next simulation exercise is slated for the Orongo region. Faith Sankwasam, NBC News, Oshiwarongo.